when anyone sailed a ship out of here, they knew how the ship worked. And so in that sense, they knew the tools they were using. And we know the same in space. We send up very specific tools to do very specific tasks. But we don't know what we're going to bring back. We don't know what the consequences are. And at the minute, in space science in particular, it's, it's uh, collecting cosmic clues that we bring home. I mean, we're not interested in precisely what's out there so much as what, how it relates to life down here on Earth. What I like about Plymouth is also one of the things I like about my job. People left here. They sailed from here to do various things, to, to, to build new worlds. Uh, frankly, my job is about thinking about new worlds far, far away. But uh, I'm sure some of the motivations I feel, that the, the, the need, I think, that I feel that people need to explore the universe uh, is some of the motivation that led people to sail from here across the ocean, not knowing where they were going or what they would find. You make a decision now, and horrifyingly, it's with you for 20 years. You've got to try and make the right decision. So I think the scientific community, you have to rely very much on what scientists want to do and some kind of scientist, scientific consensus of what the future holds. We, we do this by a lot of consultation. And actually, there is a certain random element because we make a competition. We had 51 different proposals and we brought it down to, well, six or seven, depending on how you do the arithmetic. But uh, I'm very pleased with how it's come down because it gives still a very wide vista at this point.